So today is our fourth moving day, sort of. It was technically we started packing Monday and Tuesday and then we moved Wednesday, Thursday. And yesterday I organized a ton with everything that was going on. But today I still have a bunch of boxes in the living room. But I think our first priority of the day is going to be taking care of the bedroom because we haven't unpacked anything. We have open suitcases on the floor of the bedroom and we have been grabbing like clothes randomly. So the bedroom is quite messy. And I haven't shown you the bedside tables that I got from Facebook Marketplace. I don't, I think we are going to have to alter them, but I'll have to share with you my ideas and hopefully you can give me some opinions too because I really need them. My clothes are still in the plastic bag, so I think the first step is just to remove this and also get everything off the floor so we can actually access the wardrobes. I think we have a lot of space on the wardrobe actually. Still for the both of us. It should be fine, at least for now, but for the clothes that we fold, for that we definitely don't have space. I don't think it like matches with the color, but it has potential. So, we are having an issue. I already have a drawer with my underwear and it did the same. And now I have one drawer left where I have to fit all of my long sleeve shirts, my pajamas, my workout clothes, uh, my ballet clothes, my swimsuits, everything in it won't fit because besides that I have that shelf that is going to have my sweaters and I think that shelf jackets, other sweaters and like pants or something and clearly there isn't enough space. Also here I just have socks very randomly. That's because if I try to put my socks on the wardrobe, all of the rest of my underwear won't fit. So for now they are here. All of these are my long sleeve tops and some t-shirts and tank tops also. And I already have my ballet stuff on a plastic bag, all of my pajamas. I have no idea where to put them. And over there is just even more random clothes that I have no idea where they are going to go. I don't think I can even keep my clothes on the little rolls because I used to like having them like this because I could see all of my options. But I think for now, I'm just going to have to fold them normally. This suitcase just has sweaters and like sweater jackets, so it's going to be a challenge to put everything away in just one shelf. We decided to take a break from the bedroom because we are literally like trying to decide which one of us deserves to get like the tallest shelf or which one can get the bottom drawer because he decided to like invent a point rule because the central... Point system. Okay, do you want to explain your point system? The highest points, it's either the drawers or the shelves that are in the middle because they are easier to access and as we go down or up, the points decrease because those are the worst drawers slash shelves. So if the person gets the best shelf, it's only fair to get the worst shelf too because we have four shelves and the first one is worth four points and the last one is worth one and the in-between ones are worth both two and three points so in order for both people to have five points someone has to have the two shelves in between and the first and last shelf and the same for the drawers so everything is bitten like this and we have realized that we really need a dresser so we have been looking at options at, at Facebook Marketplace and also new things but like secondhand on Facebook Marketplace you only really have like really old dressers and that's not the vibe that we are going for or you have like moms that are really like beaten down either they are giving them away for free or they are asking for way too much money for a secondhand piece that is not that durable so 
we are trying to decide if it's even worth it to like buy second hand if not if we want to buy it now or uh, wait a bit to see if we have other options because every other store is so much more expensive than ikea when it comes to dressers like you squeech we usually buy stuff from it's really expensive compared to ikea which doesn't really make sense like for the same type of dressers they are asking for double the price so yeah we need to say our options because we don't have space so that's why we are moving to the living room now so this is what we have left to do from the living room we have these three boxes most of them are sort of getting empty that one is just decor but it should be very easy to like take apart so yeah let's do that now and clean up this table because it's just tools and random stuff and we have been eating around it <laughs> A little bit more yellow, we don't know why. And we can just charge them when they run out of battery. Time to finally do some laundry because it was really piling up. decorating of this apartment like the desk area is a little bit messy and the rest is definitely messy but the couch area is now pretty clean so I'm going to put up all of my Christmas pillows and blankets because I bought recently some Christmas pillows that I haven't even put up on the couch and I really want to see how they look and I also got this like handmade pillowcase and a pillow insert that I'm going to put on but it's so cute what I don't have place for now it's the little village with the white houses that I had in my last place because I don't really have like shelves right now but I think I'm going to use the bench by the couch to try to make the Christmas villas I don't know if it's going to work but I'm gonna try so we are going to Ikea right now to finally get some things to organize the new apartment from Ikea and I'm just going to show you what I bought I bought firstly a dresser it was like the cheapest dresser at Ikea that could possibly fit the amount of clothes that we needed it was like the cheaper sister of the moms yeah we'll put it together a bit later but besides that we only bought like smaller things to organize the apartment because everything else we are going to wait a bit and see what we actually need for the house and because we are doing everything on a very tight small budget so yeah we didn't want to like buy crazy things if we didn't really need them already first i bought a new picture frame to put up a print that i got from madrid then an ikea trip wouldn't be an ikea trip without me buying a print and i decided to buy this big one it's so freaking pretty to like add something to the apartment 
this one is really nice and hopefully it will survive unlike the other one that I really think that I have killed that it looks very similar to this one but it's very tiny then I got some things to organize my makeup drawer and I got this like two little trays for the drawer and then this like big box to organize the rest of my makeup it has like spaces for lipsticks big like empty spaces I think this will be good for foundations and other like tallish products they even have more organizers for the drawers but I'm going to see how much I can fit into those and, and then see if I need to buy more organizers. We got this to put up on the cabinets on the kitchen to organize our plates and bowls. I don't think this will be enough. I think we are going to have to buy more of this, but just testing it out to see how much we actually need. We got a spatula because we subletted our apartment during the summer and the person that stayed in our apartment burnt our spatula off when we got back uh, like half of the spatula was melted and we didn't really want to use that because melted plastic it's probably not good for you we got some tiny little bags for like snacks some of this like tape to do M's on the curtains if we need them because they are kind of like drooping on the floor now because the ceilings are not the same height as our previous place we got some new tupperwares we got this like squared one with a plastic lid and another lid for a bigger one and then i just got these two other tupperwares with a wood lid because these are so much nicer but they are so expensive just for the lids so i couldn't really justify to spend more money on this but it looks way nicer on the fridge i got this like big strainer to like wash rice at least that's the goal because i don't really wash my rice and i know that you are supposed to but i don't know if anyone actually does it then i got <laughs> okay I got this little thingy to like hang my espresso cups also to organize the cabinet in the kitchen I got this little trays to like make ice cubes and then very randomly a funnel and this like big tub tray thingy to bring to the laundry room with like my dirty laundry and to bring it back home then I got these two baskets because they were the cheapest to put up on the closet on the entryway with like scarf sets and gloves because this is Iceland and we have a lot of those we got this little shelf for the shower also for the shower this thingy to properly like clean the glass while we take showers so it won't look disgusting so quickly like a plastic bowl to mix ingredients to hopefully bake more which I'm really trying to do some fairy lights to put up on the bench because I really wanted to make it even like more sparkly and I want to add some lights and hopefully some like red berries if I can like find some plastic ones to like put up there too which I think is going to look so cute and finally I got some bajillion command hooks I also got another thing which I'm not really finding which is like a little rack to hang my scarves in the closet in the hallway in a bag of dirt which is over there and I don't really feel like picking up because it's a bag of dirt so yeah that was my haul now I really need to like organize everything around to hopefully be able to put together the dresser tonight but I really need to clean up the place because I only clean up the living room area but the kitchen and the area with the table it's not clean yet and I also went to the grocery store and I still have some things to put away so I'm going to do that It's so abrupt the way I am reminded of us I found our stuff, old Polaroids of times behind us I can't get you So we are giving up It's quite late actually and our neighbors have babies So we can't really be slamming or using a hammer at this time of the night 
So I think their we are. Their baby also cries. Yeah, their baby also wakes us up, but we are not waking up a baby because we are not awful people. But I we are not going to have revenge on the neighbors. But uh, I think we are just going to put together the Christmas tree before we head to bed and leave this entire mess for tomorrow. Throughout all your things I said I'd never lose. Still I find a sign reminding me of you I stay up countless nights just trying to forget, to forget. Lying back to back in someone else's bed Everything is still a mess but we now have a Christmas tree With this beautiful topper But yeah, we are definitely going to have to finish this tomorrow because this was everything that we removed from the bedroom and put away some empty boxes actually that need to go into the storage room but i'm tired so sleep now